Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how to build a real-time chat application with Spring Boot and WebSockets. Whether you're working on a chat system, live notifications or collaborative apps, WebSockets will help you create a real-time experience for the users. Let's dive in. Before we start coding, let's first understand what WebSocket is and why it's useful. Typically, web applications use HTTP, which follows a request response model. This means that when a client, like a web browser, wants data, it sends a request and the server responds. This works great for many applications, but it's not ideal for the real-time interactions. Imagine you're in a chat application and you have to refresh the page every time you want to see a new message. That wouldn't be a great user experience, right? This is where WebSockets come in. WebSockets allow a persistent, bi-directional communication channel between a client and the server. Instead of sending the request repeatedly, the connection remains open and allows real-time data exchange. This makes it perfect for live chat, stock price updates, real-time gaming and more. The WebSocket connection starts with a simple HTTP handshake, but after that the connection stays open, allowing real-time data flow. Now that we understand WebSockets, let's talk about STOMP. STOMP stands for Simple or Streaming Text-Oriented Messaging Protocol. It's a messaging protocol that helps us communicate over WebSockets in a structured way. Raw WebSockets require a lot of manual handling, managing message formats, subscriptions and routing and all of this can get complex. This is where STOMP simplifies things by defining a set of rules for message exchange, just like how HTTP helps with a structured web communication. STOMP allows clients to subscribe to topics and send messages in a human-readable format. Spring Boot has a built-in support for STOMP, making it easier for us to build real-time applications. Alright, now that we understand WebSockets and STOMP, let's build our real-time chat app. First, we need to take care of some dependencies. After we have added everything that's needed, uh, we can start with the creation. First, let's create the WebSocket configuration in Spring Boot. This class will enable WebSocket support and configure our message broker. Here we are enabling a simple message broker with a slash topic for broadcasting messages and setting slash app as a application prefix. We also define an endpoint called chat for clients to connect. Now we need a controller that will handle incoming chat messages. The method listens on app send message and then sends it to the topic messages where all subscribed users receive the update. We also define a simple chat message class that contains a content field for the message and a sender field to track who sent it. Now let's build the frontend using HTML, JavaScript and Stomp.js to connect to our WebSocket server. Here we are using Sock.js to connect to a WebSocket endpoint chat and Stomp.js to subscribe to the topic, topic messages. When we send a message it gets broadcasted in real time to all connected clients. And there you have it, a fully functional real-time chat application using Spring Boot, WebSockets and Stomp. You can now build uh, on this by adding features like private chats, user authentication or even database persistence. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and drop a comment below if you have any questions. Let me know what you would like to see next. Until next time, happy coding!